Uh, hello everyone. This is a 5G new radio tutorial and today we'll talk about initial accusation and random access procedure. So these two things are exactly what happens to your phone and what base station does when you power on both of them. So that's why we begin with it. Uh, but prior to describing the overall procedure, we first must be familiar with a few general concepts, which is the protocol and protocol stack. And uh, we should take a look at the protocol stack for 5G NR. So later on, it will be uh, clear what kind of functions we are referring to. In general, a communication protocol is a set of rules for message exchange or sending block of data uh, in 5GNR known as PDU <coughs> between two network nodes. A protocol may define the packet structure of the data transmitted or and also the control commands that manage the session. A protocol suit consists of several le uh, levels of functionality. This modularity facilitates the design and evaluation of protocols. Since each protocol layer uh, usually communicates with its peer entity across a communication link. They are also commonly seen as layers in stack of protocols, where the lowest protocol layer always deals with the physical interaction, uh, interaction of the hardware across the communication link. Each higher layer of protocol adds more features and functionalities. So user applications are usually dealing with the higher levels of protocols. And today we will mostly talk about the physical layers. So uh, we, we will see, we can see that the functions of physical layer are control, configuration, and physical layer measurements. In context of protocol structure, uh, we'll frequently use terms service and protocol. It must be noted that services and protocols are distinct concepts. A service is a set of primitives or operations that layer provides to the layers to which it's logically or physically connected. So the way to uh, layers intercommunicate. The service in return defines what operations a layer performs without specifying how the operations are implemented. It is further related to the interface between two adjacent layers. A protocol, in contrast, is a set of rules presiding over the format and interpretation of the information or messages that are exchanged by peer entities within a layer. The entities use protocols to implement their service definitions. Those protocol is related to the implementation of the service. The protocols and functional elements defined by 3GPP standards correspond to all layers of the Open System Interconnection, or we call it OSI. So it contains of seven different layers of the network. As shown on the figure, uh, what 3GPP consider as layer two and layer three protocols is mapped to the OSI data link layer, and the higher layer protocol in 3GPP stack are application and transport layers. So uh, mostly uh, in, in the presentation of 5G NR, we will focus on uh, these three layers, physical, data link, and network layer, because this is what uh, 5G is about. The NG rank protocol structure is depicted on the figure of this slide. So for UEs and GNOVEs, in the user plane and control plane, the NAS functional block is used for network attachment, authentication, set it up bearers, and mobility man management. All NAS messages are ciphered, so it means like encrypted, and integrity protected by the AMF and also the user itself. There is also a mechanism uh, for transparent transfer of uh, NAS messages. As shown on figure on this slide, 
the layer 2 of NR is divided into MAC, ROC, PDCP, and SDAP sub layers. The, <clears throat> the SAP or the interface between two adjacent uh, protocol layers is marked with a circle at the interface between the sub layers in the figure. The sub between the physical layer and the max sub layer uh, here uh, provides the logical channels. So, sorry, it's here. Uh, logical channels. Uh, the physical layer provides transport channel to the MAC sublayer. From the physical layer perspective, the MAC sublayer provides and receives services in the form of transport channels. The data in transport channel is organized into a transport blocks. By varying the transmission format of the transport block, MAC sublayer can realize different data rates and uh, reliability levels. The MAC sublayer receives the ROC SDU mapped to various logical channels in the downlink and generates the MAC PDU that further become the transport blocks in the physical layer. The ROC sublayer provides ROC channels to the PDCP sublayer and the latter provides radio bearers to the SDAP sublayer. So at this point it is uh, enough for us to know about the protocol structure and we would like to know more about the uh, exactly those channel interfaces that connect different layers. And uh, we want to talk more about the lower layer channels, so physical channels, transport channels and logical channels. And we will start with, uh, we perhaps would have mentioned all of them right now because uh, what we want to only know today is those channels that are used for initial acquisition and attachment. So perhaps some of them will be skipped, but definitely all of them will be reviewed in the uh, next tutorial, which will be about the overall architecture of uh, 5GNR core network and uh, well, channels. Yeah. So uh, channel, where channel is one of the interface. So uh, let us start to talk about the first channel, which is uh, Broadcast Control Channel, or BCCH. It is used for uh, transmission of system information from network to all devices in a cell. Prior to accessing the system, a device needs to acquire the system information to find out how the system is configured and, in general, how to behave properly within a cell. Note that in case of uh, non-standalone operation, when 5G base station is attached to 4G, system information is provided by the LTE system and there is no BCCH. So, yeah, so BCCH is uh, just for standalone mode. Next channel, uh, which is PCCH, it is used for, uh, it is used for uh, paging services. Uh, of devices whose location on a cell level is not known to the network. The paging message therefore needs to be transmitted in multiple cells. Note that in case of a non-standalone operation, paging is provided by the LTE system, there is no PCCH. Uh, next one, CCCH, which, which states for uh, Common Control Channel is used for transmission of control information in conjunction with random access. Next one is DCCH. Uh, is used for transmission of control information to or from device. This channel mainly is used for individual configuration of the devices. For example, setting a specific, some specific parameters in the devices. And the last one, a uh, logical channel is DTCH. It is used for transmission of user data to or from device. This is a logical channel type used for transmission of all uh, unicast uplink and downlink data. So next, uh, let us move to the transport channels. And the first one we'll talk about is BCH, the one that we'll uh, see later today 
which is used in the initial access. So it has a fixed, BCH has a fixed transport format provided by the specifications. It's used for transmission of parts of the BCCH, so you can see the direct mapping uh, system information and more specifically it is called master information block which we will talk uh, later in this presentation. Second one is PCCH and you can see that it's mapped directly to uh, PCCH. Uh, it is used for transmission of paging information for the PCCH logical channels. Uh, it also supports a feature called discontinuous reception or it is also uh, denoted as DRX to allow the device save battery by waking up to receive the PCH only uh, at pretty fine time instance. So it might be used for uh, IoT or massive uh, machine type communication. Uh, the last transport channel which is called downlink shared channel DLSCH is the main transport channel so you can see that different channels are mapping into it uh, and it's used for transmission of downlink data in NR. It supports a key NR feature such as dynamic rate adaptation and channel dependent scheduling in the time and frequency domains hybrid R A ARQ or we call it ARC, uh, hybrid ARC HARC with soft combining and spatial multiplexing. It also supports DRX to reduce the device power consumption while still providing an always on experience. Uh, DLSCH is also used for transmission of the parts of the BCCH system information not mapped into the BCH. So each device has a DLSCH per cell it is connected to. In slots where system information is received, there is one additional DLSH from the device perspective. Okay. Um, so, uh, so far we were talking about the, uh, everything for uh, downlink channels, but actually, as you can see, the logical uh, channels. Uh, for uplink are exactly similar to the downlink, so it also has CCCH, DTCH, and DCCH. But for transport channels, there are two more channels which are different from the from the downlink side. So the first one is ULSCH, which is uplink shared channel, and it is exactly a counterpart of the downlink scheduling channel, and it is used to transmit uh, transport uplink data. And the last one, which will be the most important today, is REG or random access channel, and it's defined also as a transport channel, and it is uh, does not carry any transport block but it is used for random access exclusively. exclusively. Uh, then let us quickly go through physical channels. So the first one we'll talk about is the PDSCH, is the main physical channel used for unicast data transmission and also for transmission of some paging information as we can see, and random access response messages and delivery of parts of the system information. Second physical channel is uh, PBCH, so physical broadcast channel, and carries part of system information required by the device to access the network. Uh, physical downlink control channel is used for downlink control information, mainly scheduling decisions required for reception of the PDSCH and for scheduling grants enabling the transmission of PUSCH, uh, where PUSCH is the physical uplink control channel and is used by the device to send the hybrid ARC uh, acknowledgements 
indicating to Gino B whether the downlink transfer block was successfully received or not, and also to send channel state uh, reports uh, aiding the downlink uh, channel dependent scheduling and for requesting resources to transmit uh, uplink data. And the last physical channel is called PREG, physical random access channel, and it is again used for uh, random access exclusively.